podcast, and I'm the author of an upcoming book called Untouchable, Unraveling the Myth That You're Too Faithful to Fall, and it's due out June 5th through Baker Publishing, and I am so excited for this resource to be shared with you. It was birthed out of the darkest and hardest season of my life. When I was 25 years old, I was in leadership at a church. I had my list of things I said I would never do since that were so um, just obviously wrong in my mind that I thought, of course, I'll never do that. And yet I didn't properly guard myself. And so as a result, at the age of 25, I had sex outside of marriage with my boyfriend and everything changed. I had to step out of ministry. I We broke up. I was in shame and bondage and just so lost after that whole experience. I felt so far away from God and went through years of restoration and God has redeemed my life and I'm here to share that with you. But when I came out on the other end of that, I wondered what went wrong. I loved God. I had my list of things I'd never do. Where did it all go wrong? And I came out on the other side with this idea that I call the untouchable myth. And that is none of us are exempt from sinning. None of us are untouchable that under the right circumstances, anybody can do anything. And I don't say that to be negative. I just say it because it's truth. We see it throughout the Bible. We've watched pastors fall in ministry. None of them went into ministry thinking they'd have an affair or an addiction. Uh, There are people that we know who have loved God so much and yet they've fallen so far and we wonder, how could that person do that? But it's because they're not properly guarding themselves and that's what this book is all about. It's about giving people the tools to be able to set up boundaries, to put on the armor of God and to stand firm against the enemy's schemes, to be able to admit that weakness is possible. And the truth is, is that when we can admit that weakness is a possibility, that's when we flourish in life. And the book is breaking down the myth talking about how can we protect ourselves from it. And then I talk about if you've been there, if you've messed up, there is redemption available to you. And there's a whole section on redemption and how God wants to redeem our lives. And again, I'm so excited to get this into your hands because I believe God wants to use it to strengthen and encourage Christians all over the world. And here's what I want to do with you. I want to partner with you to get that message out. I am starting a launch team for this book. And what does that mean? Well, basically, it means that before the book even comes out, you get a free copy, a free copy of Untouchable for you to read. And all I ask in return, all that we ask is that you talk about it on social media, leave a review. Um, It's super easy. It's super fun. There's going to be community on Facebook through a a private group where we can talk and we can share what God's doing in our lives and encourage each other. Um, There will be, of course, the free book for you to have. And I am just uh, so excited because I believe God wants to put together a team that really believes in this message that's going to get the word out to people who need to hear this. And you could be a part of that. You can make this happen. So all I'm asking is down below on this website that you just fill out the form. It's super easy. Name and an email address. I'm not going to share it. And then uh, that means that we'll get the book into your hands here in about a month and a half before the book comes out. And then you just commit to sharing the message. That's it. And so I hope that you'll consider joining the team. Um, Again, I believe God wants to use this message to uh, strengthen and encourage Christians all over the world. And you can help be a part of that. So uh, join the team. And I look forward to partnering with you in this new journey and in this endeavor. And I thank you so much for just partnering with me. I love you guys so much and I can't wait to see what God does. Have a great day.